come from because of you and I think we die and um I had some by I had like these modules that I it wasn't I had modules that weren't exactly my strongest points but I made sure they were my strongest points because every time I got home I studied those subjects more than the ones that I liked or than the ones that I understood. If I didn't understand something in the lecture, I would always ask because if you don't ask, you're going to struggle in the exam. And the textbook became my friend. Like, <laughs> I took the textbook and was reading that textbook every day, going through my lecture every time. I would go through the same lectures like over and over again just to make sure I understand. It's very important ask questions, go to your lecturers, they will explain stuff to you. And my dissertation, I just thank God, my supervisor was really good. My dissertation was really good. Because the devil has a way of sinking into your head and thinking you can't do it. You, you failed before, you think you're going to like pass again, that kind of thing. You start thinking of the past, how you, like, you are your lowest point, but again, I just kept reading Bible verses to myself and, and just praying and I told God, please, like, I really just can't afford her. Like, and that's one thing I've learned. The grades don't make you better than you really are. It's what you have to offer, the, the way you present yourself, your personality, what's inside of here that really matters. You can get the first class, but if your attitude stinks and everything else, you or you don't have something sub, of substance to offer, you won't really go far. Okay, so the other verse that God gave me while I was going through my final year was Psalms 32 verse 8 and it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eyes upon you. So um, let me read you in another translation. NLT, it says, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. So at this point I was like, okay, you know what? God's got me. He's watching over me. I don't I don't have to worry. Whatever happens, happens. And that was it. And to the glory of God, everything was amazing. Exams were like those exams, I was just like, ah, well, you know when you come out of an exam and you just know, you know, you know what you're going to get. Never, never limit God. If you really want something, your heart desire, pour it out to God and he will grant you your desires if it's according to his will. If it, even if it's not according to his will, his will, his best plan for us is better than anything that we can ever imagine. And I mean, sometimes now, even after graduating, sometimes people, people start to say things in your ear but i just remember that god that started this work i'm not going to limit him i'm not going to um doubt him because it's one thing to doubt you know the bible tells us that you shouldn't doubt when you ask for things i'll put the verses here you shouldn't doubt um when when you ask god for something and i'm going to read some scriptures as well that really encourage me or can encourage anybody if you're going through what i I've experienced so Proverbs 3 5 to 6 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path um James 1 5 it says if any of you lack wisdom let him not let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. Even in that James 1 verse 5, it also talks about um, asking and not doubting God. So if you really ask, believe that you're going to receive it. And then I've read Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I'm going to read 1 Peter 5 10. It says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace he has who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. So these are just some of the verses that have, have um, encouraged me, and I just I I know that results is coming for A level students in August, and I just want you to believe whatever happens, whether clearing, believe that God has a plan for you, and just pray and ask God to truly show you that plan, because that was what I did. I was like God, I just need you to show me the right path. Nobody is a failure in this life. You're really not a failure. You're only a failure if you fail and don't get up. 
that that is when you're a failure and um bibiana on instagram when i was preparing for this video she also said something in one of her um in one of her posts she she talks about feeling like a failure and stress and trying to prove to people that you're you know you're worth it and things like that um it says don't try and find your value in anything other than Christ because your results don't define you. And I think that's spot on. Your results don't define you. Um, we can easily feel like exams are going to make you think you're proving something to people or you don't want to let people down. But like I said again, your results don't define you. And she said one note on failure. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success is part of it failure is not defeat it's delay it's a temporary detour not a dead end failure is the greatest teacher and it it proves that you tried so now go try again so basically she's saying that failure it's not the end it's a teacher and it's a life lesson because I've learned so much um, from everything that's happened to me from my A-levels because I did feel like A-levels I felt hey I'm smart I'm everything but God really humbles you and so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you can learn something from me and just trust in God in all your ways and I hope I've been able to share my experience with you guys if you have questions leave them in the comment section below follow me on my Instagram um, my Twitter I don't really use Twitter that much but you can follow me on Twitter and um, yeah thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye. You made our way when our backs were when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if we